why the A-Reds eye supplements don't fully protect your vision, and why they may even be dangerous. Hello, I'm Dr. Ronnie Bannock, America's Integrative Neuro-Ophthalmologist. Today, I'll be delving into two landmark studies using eye supplements, the AREDS and AREDS 2 studies. First, in part one of this video, I'll explain the background behind the two studies and what their results were. Next, in part two, I'll share why these AREDS formulations, though significant in their time, are now outdated for protection against macular degeneration and blue light. The AREDS formulation is missing several key eye nutrients, and I'll share with you what they are. Then, in part three, I'll explain why taking the AREDS formulation may be dangerous for some people and may actually increase the risk for macular degeneration. Finally, be sure to watch until the end of the video for my recommendations in part four and some alternatives to the AREDS vitamin formulations. Part one, AREDS and AREDS 2. The age-related eye disease study, or AREDS, and its follow-up, AREDS 2, were groundbreaking clinical trials sponsored by the National Institutes of Health, or NIH, in the United States. The AREDS studies were landmark clinical trials because up until that time, there was no large research study to investigate the potential benefits of a supplement for eye health. These two studies evaluated the potential efficacy of specific nutrient formulations in reducing the risk of two conditions. One, age-related macular degeneration, also known as AMD, and two, cataracts. The original AREDS study, conducted between 1992 and 1998, included over 4,700 participants between the ages of 55 to 80 years old. They all had cataract, macular degeneration, or both cataract and macular degeneration. The macular degeneration results were based on over 3,600 participants who had early, intermediate, or advanced AMD. The study participants were given various combinations of five nutrients, or placebo, for five years. The nutrients in the original AREDS formulation included the following. Vitamin C, 500 milligrams. Vitamin E, 400 IUs. Beta carotene, 15 milligrams. Zinc, 80 milligrams. And copper, 2 milligrams. The AREDS results showed benefit for only a small subset of participants. In individuals with intermediate or advanced AMD in one eye, the vitamins reduce the risk of developing advanced macular degeneration by about 25% over five years. In other words, if people already had intermediate AMD, there was still a significant chance of progressing to an advanced stage of disease with significant vision loss. Also, there was no benefit of the AREDS formulation for those with early stage AMD or with cataract. The AREDS study was actually continued for another five years for a total of 10 years of follow-up. The researchers found that continued supplement use for 10 years was associated with a 25 to 30% reduced risk of advanced AMD. In other words, 34% of people on the AREDS formulation still progress to advanced AMD, while 44% on placebo progress to advanced AMD. The AREDS results, though much anticipated by eye doctors and patients alike, were quite disappointing in my opinion. They were frankly underwhelming when it comes to protecting eye health. Now, why did the AREDS study not show more benefit? Why did the supplements not protect more people from vision loss? Well, stay tuned for later in this video when I'll share with you my insights into these two questions. But first, let's talk a little bit about AREDS 2. The AREDS 2 study started in 2006 and was completed in 2013. It aimed to build on the original AREDS findings by testing modified formulations. AREDS 2 included over 4,200 participants ages 50 to 85 who all had intermediate or advanced AMD. Early AMD was excluded from the AREDS 2 study. AREDS 2 tested variations in ingredients in their formulations, such as the replacement of beta carotene with lutein 10 milligrams 
and zeaxanthin, two milligrams. By the way, beta carotene was associated with a higher risk of lung cancer in smokers, so it was eliminated from the ABREDS formula. Now, let's talk about lutein and zeaxanthin. These are two powerful macular carotenoids that have a yellow-orange pigment and are cousins to both beta-carotene and vitamin A. Lutein and zeaxanthin serve as our eye's natural UV protectors and blue blockers by protecting the macula in the back of the eye against free radicals and oxidative stress. Because our bodies cannot make lutein or zeaxanthin, we need to get these critical essential eye nutrients from either diet or supplementation. There are numerous studies that have shown that increased dietary lutein and zeaxanthin from green, orange, and yellow vegetables and fruits is associated with a reduced risk for vision loss from AMD. Aside from lutein and zeaxanthin, ARITS2 also included omega fatty acids, DHA and EPA, at doses of 350 milligrams and 650 milligrams, respectively. So, what did the ARITS2 results show? The study confirmed the efficacy of the original ARITS formulation in decreasing the risk of AMD progression by about the same 25% reduction rate. There was no difference seen in substituting lutein and zeaxanthin for beta carotene. However, despite high hopes, AREDS2 did not find significant additional benefits of omega 3 fatty acids. But just because AREDS2 didn't show any benefit of the omegas, that doesn't mean that these nutrients aren't helpful for vision health. We'll come back to the omegas and why this lack of benefit may have occurred in part two of this video coming up next. <music> 